Hey everyone, hydroponics is a great way to grow fresh produce year-round in your own home. One common concern before jumping in, however, is the cost. Doesn't it cost a lot to run the lights, the pumps, the nutrients, and the other materials you need? And isn't it cheaper and easier just to buy produce at the grocery store? In this video, I'll break down every ongoing cost of growing a head of hydroponic lettuce, such as this one here. Note that all the costs I use are in U.S. dollars and are based on prices in the Midwestern U.S., so they may differ somewhat depending on where you live. To calculate costs, I'm going to assume we're using a four-rail system with 49 plant sites, and each plant takes 49 days to mature, giving us one head of lettuce per day. Therefore, to calculate the ongoing cost to grow one head of lettuce, we can just look at the cost of running the full system for one day plus any materials that went specifically to growing that plant. I can actually fit more than 49 plants in a four rail system and the plants often mature before 49 days so this gives us a conservative starting point. We'll start with electricity costs. To run an indoor hydroponic rail system I use a grow light a pump, a fan, and an air pump. For lighting, I've used several different LED grow lights and found that a 200 watt LED grow light covers the area of four rails really well. Recently I've been experimenting with using individual LED tubes that are 42 watts each and each one covers one rail which would reduce the lighting even more and bring us up to 168 watts total. But for this example, let's stick with the 200 watts to be conservative. For a 200 watt light that is on for 14 hours per day, we have a total usage of 2.8 kilowatt hours per day. Next is the pump. The pump we use is a small submersible water pump that consumes 20 watts, and I leave this on continually. So the total usage is 0.48 kilowatt hours per day. To reduce usage somewhat, you could run the pump at intervals, but I found it simplest and most effective to run it continually. The fan is optional, but helps reduce temperature in warmer locations and can provide more CO2 to the plants to boost growth. We use a 27 watt fan and run it 14 hours per day along with the light for a total of 0.378 kilowatt hours per day. Finally, the air pump is necessary to oxygenate the water and encourage good root health. It takes just 6 watts and runs continuously for a total of 0.144 kilowatt hours per day. Adding together the electricity usage gives us 3.8 kilowatt hours per day. And where I live, electricity is approximately 12 cents per kilowatt hour. So our total electricity cost is 46 cents per day. Next we'll look at nutrient costs. We found master blend nutrients to work well for lettuce. When mixing nutrients we use 30 grams total of the three part master blend nutrient formula for every five gallons of water. So that's six grams per gallon. Assuming we use a two week nutrient rotation where we add 20 gallons of nutrient solution to initially fill our reservoir and then top off with 5 to 10 gallons after one week, we use approximately 2 gallons per day for this system. 2 gallons of water per day times 6 grams of nutrient per gallon gives us 12 grams of nutrient per day. A 5 pound bag will keep our system going for 188 days and since a bag costs $32, the total nutrient cost per day is 17 cents. Next, we'll look at the cost of water and other additives. In my city, water and sewer is approximately $9 for 1,000 gallons. Previously, we said that we use 2 gallons of water per day, so the ongoing cost of water is 2 cents per day. For dechlorinating, which you may not need depending on your water source, a $6 bottle of dechlorinator will treat 1,000 gallons, which comes out to 1 cent per day pH down is something you may need depending on your water source. We bought a bottle several years ago for $12 and it's lasted this whole time so approximately two cents per day for that. Adding those up the total ongoing cost of water and other additives 
is five cents or less per day. Lastly, we have the cost of the materials for planting, a growing medium and seeds is what we need. The seed plugs we use vary in price quite a bit. A 50 pack was just $10 recently and I bought a whole bunch, but I've seen it as high as $20 for a pack of 50. So for this estimate, we'll split the difference and say $15 for a pack of 50, which gives us a total of 30 cents per seed plug, which is we just need one for each plant. There are other alternatives such as rock wool that are cheaper, or you could really reduce this cost by starting seeds on a paper towel and transplanting them into a reusable growing medium, such as hydrotin or even a pool noodle. However, the seed plugs we use work really well and are worth the extra cost just for their simplicity and effectiveness, in my opinion. It just depends on your situation and the balance between system maintenance and cost. Lastly, for seeds, we can buy a pack of 500 really good seeds for $5. Since the germination rate is so high, we generally just need one seed per plant. But again, to be conservative, we'll say two seeds per plant for a cost of two cents each. Adding everything up, our cost comes out to one dollar even for a big head of fresh and delicious hydroponic lettuce with electricity as the biggest chunk of that cost. So then how does this compare to lettuce in the grocery store? I took a trip to our nearest grocery store and picked out a similar kind of lettuce for two dollars and forty nine cents. You can see a comparison of the two heads of lettuce here. I can tell you we found hydroponic lettuce to have a much better flavor, texture, and shelf life than store-bought lettuce. Add to that the ability to grow your own food despite supply chain interruptions or bacterial outbreaks, and I think there's a strong case that growing hydroponic lettuce is cost-effective and worth it. I realize I haven't included the initial cost of building and setting up the system in my calculation. That's a bit more challenging due to the variance in pricing between where you buy materials from and then what tools you have available, things like that. That may be the topic of a future video, but until then, I've included some rough estimates of cost for the system on our website. If you're interested in trying hydroponics, we have lots of info on our website, as well as online courses for building a system and growing lettuce. Go ahead and give it a try.